Okay, so now we're going to be talking about special cases of limits in which that they just fail to exist, or they're non-existent, as it says up here. Okay? There's two general cases where this happens, okay? And you have to be on the lookout for this so you don't mess up calculating a limit. First one, limits must match on both sides of the value that x is approaching. So if x is approaching 0, it, the function needs to be approaching, the, the, both sides of the function need to be approaching that one value for there to be a limit. In other words, there can only be one limit. Okay, so you look at a function and on one side of the value that it's approaching, it approaches some other number compared to the other side, then the, 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 simply the limit does not exist. Okay, that's the first one. You can only have one limit. Second thing, f of x must be getting closer or exactly on a specific value. Meaning, the limit cannot be infinitely increasing or decreasing. So if you have a, a graph that's just going straight up, basically just, just it looks like it's going straight up or it looks like it's going straight down, then it can't have a limit in that case. Okay, so there can only be one limit and the limit cannot be changing. If it's not going to one specific value, there is no limit. Okay, pretty simple. Um, I'm going to give you some examples in class. If you notice, I'm not going over any examples. You guys have to actually mull through these and use these ideas to solve the problem. So if you have any questions, let me know.